All right. I'm going to take this. Um, we are here. Uh, here we go. Yeah, this is this is not Elaine. Uh, this is Mason versus Kyle. Uh, we are correcting that now. So it is St. Lotus 14, and Stephen and Peter are back. So we have, uh, in some ways, some more decks here, right? Like, these are grindy decks. I think Mason's got a little more um, late-game punch with their reanimate package. Mm -hmm. uh, but they both have a fair amount of removals. Um, they, they're both doing similar things. And this is where Mason's probably, I think, going to be favored, is he gets to come out without thought sees, right? Like, he's got the hand to hit disruption. Yep. Um, oh, I think you have to take that Sol Ring here. That Dothy. Yeah, I mean, possibly. I mean, he's, he's got the removal from the Dothy, right? Yeah. Like, he's got ample removal that you take the Sol Ring, you slow it but down. You can't let your opponent go turn one Sol Ring retrofit or activate. Right, like, right. It was just, that's yeah. not to say that you can't make it past that value, but that just becomes too much to No, play. for sure. And then we're waiting on Moxfield to load, but it is, uh, it's coming. Right. Retrofit or Foundry. Yeah, Retrofit or, uh, Solid little card there. It was one of those early commander cards mm -hmm. that never saw a lot of play and then started sneaking up in value as people realized it's ridiculous. Yep. So we talked about it a lot in like some of the packages you could do with it um, early on in the draft. It also works well with Staff of Domination if you want to take a longer game approach with that, that so you can put the counters back. That's one reason I think Rafelos is underdrafted is I think Rafelos Staff is a combo that's just forgotten that... Uh, well, the one I'm thinking of is not, not that Staff. Um, maybe I was wrong for the... I think that was where I fall real quick. There's a... Um, Staff of Completion? Maybe. I don't That's the new Phyrexian no. one or whatever. No, it's also from a commander set. It's got the turtle on it. Um, oh, I love the turtle staff. Uh, world... world, world there's a staff yeah. of Storyteller. Storyteller, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that card's legit. And under... I drafted it once, and it was bomby, man. Yeah. So you, you can play so Retrofitter good. alongside Staff of the Storyteller. And, right, um, yeah. You That's... do get... You, right. you get an amount of value back from the Staff of the Storyteller by being able to put counters back on it. All right, so we've got Teferi, Dress Down, Land Land, maybe Third Land. I can't tell the middle card there between the Teferi and the Dress Down. <laughs> dress down. So he's not gonna he's gonna take the damage from the Dothy. I thought maybe he would just bounce it, but uh... that is correct. Bob, we got Shy Town on on camera round one. Yeah. Mason's just gonna draw a card here at the end. Just use a little value Dress Down. That Dress Down's gonna go to exile. Mm -hmm. I missed I missed the him he hit him with so that looks like it hit wheel on a land. Um, yeah, there we go. Yeah, so this yep, is just a wheel on the swamp there. So he can bounce. He bounces the Dothy here. He has enough mana to make a end of turn token, right, and still kill the with the Roger Federer. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah, there's really not much Mason can do. Right, he, he just kind of wanted to draw the card. Yep. I mean, so we should have a slight thing here. The the fetch is a different discard, but is should be a different pile, and everything else, most everything else should be the exile pile. Other than the thought sees. So, um, Mark, if you're listening, there is a small uh, that graveyard needs to be kind of two piles. Um, yeah. So he's got an eye okay. So there, I think that's a Gristle brand in hand. Okay, yeah, I see Gristle Daddy now, yeah. And I okay hits Colgan's command. Was that the last card in hand? Uh, probably. He's had he had thought sees him and I okay. Yeah, yeah okay. so. All right, so our uh, Dr. Pee Pee Poo Poo Pants gets uh, MD. MD, and then Return of the Dothy. Mm -hmm. So we have a land for sure. Oh, Snapcaster Mage. Nope, Thought Not Scour. Yeah. All right, so we need to make sure these cards, no, nope, all that goes into Exile. Yeah. Uh, that was a Malcolm? That off, is a Malcolm? Yeah, I'll oh, go back. There. Yeah. Go back out. Yeah, make sure that we have a divided. We're going to make sure some game state is correct there as we are prone to do, right? All right, yeah. Do 
the the him to Torok. All right, so I think we should be good now. Um, so the question is basically, is the hymn in exile or not or when it was played versus the Dothi? That's the question at hand at the moment. Um, and I think we have figured out that it is not, and that's... All right. All right. The question was about whether or not the hymn was yeah. yeah the hymn it was I, 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 yeah, I was like the they question a, is the hymn here they had to track it back through life totals right. basically and walk that was the hymn was the, was the Dothi out when the hymn was cast right. was the, all right this isn't looking good for Mason right like I mean he no. can Kyle has been uh, is now with cards in hand uh, you one or two yeah so you can flash that in here. That's a reader. Yep. <laughs> it's like we've got a reader. Yep. Uh, it's not Malcolm Kenai, it's Malcolm something else. Yeah. Alluring scoundrel? Yeah. Yep. So. Flash flying two one. When it deals damage to a player, draw you a card that is draw a card. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then if you've done four damage. If there are four or more Oh counters on counters. it. It builds yeah. up counters, so. Yeah, and you put a you put a counter chorus on counter on it. Right. Yeah. And then you can start casting stuff for free. Yeah. He's very alluring. Mm -hmm. Well, the discard was was there, but like he needs answers. It. Oh, there we go. The Vindicate will... The Vindicate will help. Yep. That should end the Dothy. Right. Grizzle Daddy's gone, though, but it's okay. He's like, I'm not going to... At this point, it's not going to do much anyway. Um, is it six? Wait, the Vindicate shouldn't be in there. The last step of resolving a spell is putting into the graveyard. Oh, so the, yeah. No. Yeah, the Vindicate. There you go. Because the effect of the Void Walker is right. no longer. We go to four. Present. Okay. For now. And then next turn is going to be more go because three. we turn. Oh, man, yeah, Mason's just pretty much pooped. Yeah, well, I mean, he gets a big blocker here. Can't reanimate the Grizzle to get to block with lifelink, which would be... It's got an abrupt decay. Yep, so we can... We can turn a servo into a thopter, we can untap, and then we can turn a thopter into a 4-4 four, four flyer. Right. So we're coming for five in the air. So he's got in. Snapcaster Abrupt. So he's going to pitch... Mm. Troll of Cosmic. Troll, yeah. okay. We have a million mana on board at this point. Yeah. It's, yeah. We could cast it, actually. Yeah, so... Troll of Kaza Dune. Yeah, he's going to wait. There's no need to do it now, because you're just going to... So Yeah, so he's going to do it. And then in response here, you're going to go ahead and abrupt the retrofitter. Well, you can do this all at instant speed in response. Right, but so he's made it now. I'm just wondering if you want to do it before he untaps his mana so you can get more to, you know, make more slash upgrade them, right? Yes, yeah, right. this would be the time to do that. Right. But the other thing is, you know, you're at three. You're facing down lethal. It can You can untap the retrofitter and... Right. So I think you kill the retro here, and then save the snap retro for or snap abrupt. You mean snap that? abrupt for okay the turn right. Like that's what I feel like you do. Mm -hmm. But you've got to kill the retro fitter here. All 
All right, so we have a servo on board. Right. Right, that's what that means. Yeah. Yeah, see, I, I think that might have actually been the wrong play with the retrofitter. I don't think you should have made you should have made a servo there. You should have tapped one and the retrofitter and in Mason's end step, right. make him blink, and uh, sack a servo, Upgrade make a thopter, right. and then if that doesn't work, you can just untap retrofitter, get the other one. Right. In response to the abrupt decay. Yeah. yeah. And then you're forcing him to use it on your creatures, and you still have the retrofitter around if you do it in his end step. Right. Like because we tapped two to create a servo, we we lost our retrofitter. Mm -hmm. Bink. Okay, so we snap. We abrupt. Mm -hmm. We have. And we will not clear the board. Right, but we're gonna go to two. Yep. <laughs> and put a book command to kill. That's it. Yep. Sometimes that uh, <laughs> that last mode, you're not wrong. They just nug you for the, with a wither bloom command. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes that last mode just gets there. <clears throat> yeah. So if you had, if we, I, that was definitely the good start for Mason. But I think oh, yeah. the, the mix of the <clears throat> Dothy and just a, just enough little bit of aggression. Like I said, it when we when Kyle drafted it. Sometimes Dothy Voidwalker can just go wire to wire. Dude, it, it does. Uh, so many games are it just. It just can can go twenty one because your opponent doesn't find a removal spell. Mm -hmm. Like it is a very real thing, and it is frustrating for your opponent, but fantastic for you. And then there becomes the uh, the question of what if you want to pop the Void Walker for any of the yeah, and it's, it's tough. Yeah, my my, my f most fun win with it was in the first time it was drafted uh, here. Uh, I think it was by me, or maybe it was by me in the second, but I. Um, uh, Killed him with his uh, own Tasha's hideous laughter because mm -hmm. <laughs> he Tasha did it with the thing, and I was like, "All right, pop the Tasha, pop, yeah. pop it, to, pop Tasha, you." That's really good. I also once uh, did it to take do their Snapcaster, mm -hmm. <laughs> the Snapcaster back a removal spell to get rid of something. You know, yeah. So sometimes you gotta. Yeah, uh, an early Void Walker just can can do some insane work when your opponent is just spinning their wheels because that means you're gathering all those resources. Shy so, town, but from Ireland. Mm -hmm. so, so we have somebody from across the sea? I, I, maybe Mason may, might have been born there or something. He said shy town, but from Ireland, he yep. said. So that, mm. Maybe Mason was born overseas? Maybe. Well, we would have Moxfield Deckless for you if Moxfield was responsive. But we are waiting on that right now. Yeah. So we can't all even... Right. So Mason in the sideboard throws here. He's taking out a lot of cards. Yeah, you got to figure out as the reanimator deck if you want to remain reanimator in the face right. of Void Walker and right. whatever else Kyle has. Um, well, we can do this the hard way. I'm just going back over the draft. Let me see our faces again. Um, oh, hey, there I am. I'm beautiful. So while we're waiting for Moxfield, conveniently we have Kyle and Mason uh, side by side here. Yeah. Columns uh, G and H. So aside from the. Void Walker. There's not much else. Oh, we have Ashok Dream Render. Yeah, he's got two two yeah. potential cards. So I, against that, I mean, I feel that yeah, you might just take out the Reanimator package and go a little more controlling of a shell. Yep. You only have the one in Tomb to try and get there. Really, there's some other odds and ends that you can get kind of ticky tacky right. with to put your creature in the graveyard, like the Thought Scour. So I would try and make Kyle's sideboard cards bad by pivoting. Yeah. Yeah. At, at this point, um, like we're not really changing the overall. Con uh, makeup of our deck too much if we're Mason and signing out we can just play a more uh, reserved game I don't know if the the Cossack Bronco is in the main or not but yeah we can play that kind of that kind of deck with um, like the subtlety and the lingering souls and just play look for a longer game win so Control, good yeah so Mason is a three-time champion right like uh, you know that if he takes a loss here in round one that's a uh... But you know, I think I recall before, like one of his championships, I think he lost round one and maybe he lost round one and two and then just crushed out. Yeah. So Yeah, they're like we're just this is a free for all, right? So it's not yeah, like yeah, have a loser yeah. bracket. And there's no loser bracket, right? Like it just uh sometimes it's about hitting stride. Yeah. And that's the You just play until you don't it, you know, getting Look. the feel for the deck, getting it right. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So all right. So we got some like, shuffle up. Mason's taking a look like Mason might be taking a mulligan. And so is Kyle. Yeah. Unless they're on even footing. Uh, boop, 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 boop. 
We're zero zero. We don't track. Oh, we had the game. The X. Yeah, the game. Uh, um, there we go. Right. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Mm -hmm. One of these days. We're gonna get our brother Thirsty back here to, uh, you know. He is on a one day trip. Yeah, yeah, I know. One day flown flown into Mexico City. <laughs> because One Piece is just that ridiculous. Yeah. Right now, so. Yeah, it's not, it's doing okay around here, but it's not it's not doing ridiculous. But it's it's, it's doing okay numbers around here. Yeah, I mean, different different places. Yeah. They have the different crowd like by us. I don't think Mason was on. Well, no, yeah, I don't know, he might. Have, I can't tell if he was on a mole or he'd just been shuffling really hard because he sideboarded so much. No, he's there on a mole. Okay. Yeah, you know, like by us, we don't have a huge One Piece scene. Yeah. People still play it, but not competitively. So yeah, there's some competitive here, yeah. but it's okay. There, it looks like both players are staying on six. Yeah. And start with the seas, bolt ourselves. Go to the full on. We're going fifteen. We're doing oh, yeah. high. Oh, he's got the shadow. Yes, in exactly. We're going to yeah. lava axe yeah. ourselves. Yeah. Lava axe ourselves because we got the shadow in hand. Oh, it feels like modern magic. Uh, again, he almost got to go the soul ring. Yeah, I don't. I mean, you got a decent yeah. amount of fetches, and a quick opposition agent seems, you know, pretty rough on you. Okay, this is the question I had: was whether or not Kyle was going to waste. Yeah, on turn one he's going to waste. Oh, five damage for the waste, and you're just like, all right, all right. There's a spell caller in hand. Yep. Uh, subtly in hand. No other land pass back. Yep. Oh, brutal. Oh man. Wasteland. Wasteland plays a, a good game. Wasting away. Okay, so we have a Death thing. Shadow, so if we find another fetch land, we could at least put up a 2 2, I think. Yeah, is it, it's, 13, no, three, three. it's 13 minus. Oh, yeah, yeah, because the, the full on Lightning Axe was for the Thoughtseize. So, yeah. yeah, it'll put us at a. Uh... Do you have to be sub thirteen to be able yeah, to play it? I'll put it. Make it a zero zero. Put a creature in our graveyard for later. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He Reani when you reanimate it back, right? It'll put you a twelve, so you'll have a one one. Uh, so we got a exploration. Okay. Second land for the turn. You know no, what? No Bob though. I'm not gonna run the Bob out there. Oh, we got an island though. That's interesting. Yeah. Why wouldn't you? Oh, we, we drew the Bowmasters. We wanted That's why. to do that. In response. response, yeah. Is it land? If not, you probably put it in the bottom. Yeah, <laughs> put it in the yard. Put it in the yard. Yep. Yeah. Oh, there's the reanimate. But he drew the land. So. Yep, Godless Shrine. Yeah. So we are the almost. Ping for one. Ping for one helps him here. Yep. Right? I mean, we're almost fully powered. No, we I... don't have the vindicate for another couple of turns. Right. <laughs> this is magical Christmas land. Oh, oh this is why you put these two cards together. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's it. Yeah, because that's seven, seven plus a giant orc coming at his face. It's seven plus nine, sixteen. So yeah. Mason goes to negative two. Oh well, okay. So, for those that don't know, Orgish Bowmasters, when you cast wheel a wheel, triggers and deals seven damage to your opponent's face. And then put seven counters on the one one token you already have, <clears throat> right? So then yeah. you are swinging for seven counters plus the one of the token already. So that's eight plus the bowmasters itself. Oh, that was nine. Uh, that was uh, yeah. Yep. So nine on top of that seven is sixteen, which puts Mason into the solid you know negative two. I don't know if you heard this, but bowmasters this is a good is card, a pretty good card. Yeah. Like, like there's this thing that people play in, I don't know, all the formats that can, you know? Uh, all the formats that Brainstorm is... Le well, that's a lie. Modern no. plays it, too. Yeah, yeah. All the formats that can. All the formats like, that can. Yeah. You, you, play, you play in a format. You got Optum Consider and Thought Scour and Modern, so you yeah. take your one ping. Your Hell yeah. Three can. Do anything you can, man. And two bodies. Two bodies yeah. too. I mean... Yeah. And Commander plays it. Yep. That's a... And then you can always... I have animated dead back a bowmaster. I have reanimated a bowmaster. Uh, I assume in modern they 
not dead after all back Bowmasters yeah, sometimes yeah, because yep. it's just a very powerful option. Yeah, there was, uh, I don't know, it seems like good fun. It, it, it commits crimes. And, oh, and it was legal and standard. Yeah. It was legal and, and standard. It commits crimes. Crime. That card definitely commits crimes. 